Welcome back guys. It's been a while since I uh, put a video up, but we're gonna we're gonna get one going here today. Um, we're gonna cover uh, 410 uh, non-toxic reloading. This one's gonna be steel. So um, all your waterfowl, migratory birds on public land, all that kind of stuff. Um, you have to use non-toxic shot. Um, offerings can be limited, um, but it's getting better for 410. I know turkey hunting with uh, 410 and non-toxic shot has really, uh, really took off with all the uh, advancements and shot and that kind of stuff. But uh, this one, this one is going to be steel. We're going to cover steel, so this would cover um, certainly doves and uh, maybe some waterfowl. I don't know, uh, you know, about geese maybe, but it could certainly be done. Um, ducks and that kind of stuff uh, can be can be used. I know sometimes it's hard to find steel 410 loads and especially very much variety. It seems like um, what the few manufacturers make is all that's out there and that's the shot size you get. So um, doing this obviously you can load whatever you want. So um, the first thing we're going to start off with is this book. So this book is from Ballistic Products and it is an excellent Excellent, excellent, excellent book. Um, if you're into small bore shotguns, you should have a copy of this. It goes from 24, 28, 32, and 410. And it covers everything from lead to steel to tungsten to slugs, buckshot, everything in the small gauges. And it's not that expensive. Um, it is kind of like a catalog as far as the book goes. Um, but you can you can even get a digital copy of it, and it's it's very affordable, and there is a ton of good information in there. So um, that's the first thing you're gonna want to start off with. Next, um, obviously, you're gonna need steel shot. Um, here we have number sevens. Um, so this would be what I would consider a dove load. Um, hunting with hunting with a 410 and doves is extremely fun. And uh, if you if you hunt public places, you gotta have gotta have steel. So um, number sevens work great. The next thing uh, that we'll talk about is wads. So ballistic products again, they make two wads that are um, their special 410 wads. They have this TPS, which is what they claim is their best non toxic wad. Um, there's only 200 in this bag, so, um, you know, you're not going to be loading these all the time to shoot skeet targets with. The other is this Max 410. Um, there is, there's 250 in that bag, but, uh, those are not the ones you want. You, you want to use these TPS ones. Um, they are a thicker plastic than the Max 410. And you can see the difference. Um, the red one is just your regular old 410 wad. The middle one is the max. And you can see it's a little bit shorter. And the TPS is the long one there. Um, you also, I don't know if you can see it or not, the TPS one is a lot thicker and heavier. And it's a four pedal wad. And the other is a three. So, um, these, I'm sure that you can use them, um, but Ballistic Products recommends these. And then these you do not want to use at all, because with steel shot, if you load it in these, it'll be, your shot column will be taller than the wad, and your shot will scratch the barrel of your shotgun, and you don't want that. So, um... Those are the wads you use, Ballistic Products, TPS. Um, I've had pretty good luck with them. And uh, th they're a little bit difficult to load, as you'll see here in a minute. But uh, you're not loading hundreds of these guys, remember that. So I do this a little bit different. Um, and there's probably some better ways to do it. But this is how I do it, and I've had good luck with it. So... Um, just your regular old 3-inch 410, okay? Um, put it in there. Now, if you will notice on here, go ahead and deprime it. 
reprime it. All right, just like normal. Now, here's where it's a little different. So if you'll notice on here, I don't have a shot bottle. Okay. So what we're going to do, how I do it, we're going to take this, we're going to drop our powder. All right. Now we'll take our TPS wad. And again, these are, these are a little bit difficult. I take one finger of it and open it up like that. So then you can slide it slide it up slide it up on your ram push it down and you can certainly feel it these wads are they're big and heavy so you can see it and feel it when it goes down in that hall all right next what i do get my powder scale on okay this is just my regular powder scale that i use for all my rifle reloading all right, I take a two and a half cc Lee powder dip. Let's get in here, get us some shot. Okay, I know that looks like lead, but I promise you it's steel. It's just not polished. Okay, take that. Now, from my experience, this powder dipper is almost exactly 375. So we'll get it, get it right as close as we can to 375 all right and then we will take it and normally i'm not holding the camera when i do this so take it take it all very carefully pour your shot in if you have a funnel it helps tremendously Take it, tap it, and let it all settle down. Get it, because this is full. This shell is full, guys. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that. It is way up there. Then I come over here, start a crimp, finish crimp. Perfect. Every time. Now... That's with the Remington. The only thing that I've had a problem with this is with these Winchester Super X hulls. These are older hulls. They're not what you buy new at the store now. When you put that TPS wad in them, they're as tall. By the time you put the powder in there and put that wad in there, it is as tall as the hull is. You have nothing to crimp it. So, I recommend using the Remington um, wads, or hauls, excuse me, but uh, you might be able to make these work if you change your powder charge up. So, um, let's go to the range, and we'll see how these do. All right, guys, you just saw the footage of patterning the uh, steel loads that we loaded this morning. Um, here's our target. Uh, hopefully that shows up good. I'm hoping with these uh, shoot and see targets that it will uh, show up for you. Um, this is a 17 inch piece of paper. So I I'm sure that there are some pellets that we didn't catch on this, but um, the majority of them are on here, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, this gives us a good representation of our pattern. Now, this was fired out of a Henry single shot uh, 410 with a modified choke at 30 yards. So that is a pattern with those reloads at 30 yards. Um I didn't get to do as much filming at the range as I wanted to um, due to other people being there. It is a conservation club, so I'm not the only one there using it. Um, so there's not a lot of footage of at the range, but, uh, but I did get it on camera shooting. 
So um, the other thing I wanted to point out was um, I found my wad from one of my reloads. Um, as you can see, it opened up very well and uh, it's still very stiff and thick. I mean, these are tough wads, guys. I don't know. Um, I don't know what kind of uh, plastic this is, but these are certainly different. And uh, I, I, I would highly recommend these, especially if you're shooting a, a nice gun. You don't want to scratch the inside of that barrel up, and that steel shot um, can do that. So I would highly recommend getting some of these wads um, and, and, and using them, like this book says. Um, there is a section in here that uh, that talks about these wads um, right here. You can see that. Um, so it tells you what's different about them and all that kind of stuff. So they are worth the money, in my opinion. So the other thing um, I want to I want to go over is the cost of this. And I, I actually, I found a, uh, a little secret here that I think justifies doing this. You know, guys like me, personally, I don't shoot a lot of steel 410 shells. Um, and to be honest, I did all this just for the YouTube channel. When I, when I first started out, I didn't know what I was getting into. But what I found was this load right here. Um, I'm using Alliant 410 powder just like I do in all my other videos. You guys can go back and watch those. I go over powder, wads, everything. I'm using 410 Alliant powder and this is the same exact powder charge that I use lead or steel. Now, that being said, I'm not going to tell you how much it is, but my lead reloads are going 1200 and just under 1250 between 1200 and 1250 a second these are going 1400 now you think oh wait a minute that's super fast and it is but if you look up and i'll sh uh, roll in a clip here here's the clip from midway usa um here you got Federal, three-eighths of an ounce, number seven shot. And then on this picture, you can see that they are going 1,400 feet a second. So um, this is almost identical to what I got. What My reloads were going uh, 1,397 feet per second. So I was thrilled with this velocity and the pattern that I got from them. There is a little hole right here. You can see that. There's one hole in that whole pattern. But in my opinion, that's pretty darn good. I'll take that. I'll take my chances. Um, I, I know a dove could fly through that, but I'll take my chances chances with that. So um, the other thing, so is this cost effective realistically? Um, you know, these wads are expensive um, and that kind of thing. So I, I did a little research. So factory shells are uh, 60 to 75 cents a piece, um, depending upon what kinds you get and that kind of stuff. So that makes them 16, 18 bucks a box. For my reloads, these right here, just like you've seen, again, with Alliant 410 powder, uh, Cheddite primers, steel, regular steel shot, and these uh, special wads, I've got about 28 cents a shot or $7 a box in them. So, you know you're you're cutting your cost in more than half so um and that's again that's for three inch so um keep that in mind you know and like i say if you're loading alliant 410 powder in three inch shells already if you're loading them the same velocity i am you can just dump steel in instead so um it, it, there's not a lot of effort in changing you just change wads and put steel shot in them you don't have to do anything different to your loader so that in my opinion really makes it worth worth messing with you know i, I just uh you know i'm only saving okay i shoot three boxes a year so i save you know seven eight dollars um but you know that's what the reloading's about you don't make it all back overnight so um 
hopefully this is interesting. Um, if you guys want to see more different types of non-toxic shot, bismuth and tungsten and all that, uh, let me know down in the comments below or by liking this video because that tungsten and bismuth is extremely expensive. So I don't want to do it if nobody's going to watch it. Um, but uh, the steel is definitely worth it. And uh, hopefully you guys have found some of this useful and uh, you can put it to good use. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.